Hi guys, this is Sonetta and I am back to do the tutorial that I promised you guys weeks ago. And I've actually had, you know, a couple of you reach out like, when are you going to bring us that tutorial? So my hair, this is an old twist out. I had it out last night and then I just decided to just throw it up in some big twists and go to bed. Because I knew that um, today is probably wash day and I'll just start all over. So it does look crazy. But um, the reason why I thought this would be a good time to come in and show you your hair doesn't have to, you know, you, your hair could be in a ponytail, it could be in a, you can do whatever you want with your hair, okay, for this style. And I just started off with a pack of braided hair, and you can get braided hair for 99 cents at the beauty supply store. So this is just a piece of hair. When I first started to do this style, I braided it this thin and discovered it was too thin. So I have another piece as well, and I'll show you what I mean. So you just need a, and it doesn't have to be this long. It just needs to be long enough to cover your forehead. Okay. So mine's is a little longer, but I'm just going to pin it in place. So that's what you need to do. Just cover your forehead, pin the sides in place. It starts off looking real, real crazy, but it ends up being the most gorgeous hairstyle to me. I really like this style. It would be perfect like if you're going to go see the Black Panther movie or out to dinner. It's just a statement hairstyle that's quick and easy. And you want a wide piece. So you can just take your, your braid. You don't have to have two separate braids like I do. If you make your first braid wide enough, that would be fine. So the second time I decided I need a bigger braid and that's what I have this is thicker and it's shorter but I like to use both because I don't want no gap right there okay I pull that back up on my hair and then I use this to lay right on my forehead okay and just pin it down I like to put a couple pins on each side and you want to pin it down pretty tight because once you put your scarf on, it could move. You don't want it to move. I did not go see the movie Black Panther yet. We actually may go to that. I think it's sold out for the most part this weekend. It's a lot of hype around the movie. It's not a movie I would have normally wanted to go see. I'm not a Marvel comic fan at all. But, um, let me tuck my ear in. But, um, just because of all the hype and... You know, I've heard some great things about the movie. I want to go check it out. But like I said, we're going to my cousin's for brunch today. And if there's an opening, we'll check online and we may go. If not, I'll just see it whenever. So I have my faux braid in place. And I know y'all, I haven't been in. I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm just busy. And it's hard to stop and make videos. It just really is right now. So there is my scarf is this long. It's this wide. Okay. I don't know the measurements, but it's this wide. And then it's really long. African print head scarf, 100% cotton. And that's the type of scarf I would suggest. I don't know that a silk scarf would be, um, will work for this. Usually when I wear my wraps, I wear wraps all the time. I like stiff scarves so that I can mold it and move it. No two ways are alike, okay? So, I'm just place that on the nape, okay? And make sure they're even on both sides, relatively even. And then you're gonna tie it on top of, you're gonna go on top of that braid and tie it. And mine's is already moving, I can feel it. And you just wanna place that on top. And it came down, so from here I could just tuck it back some. You want it to be relatively tight, but not too tight. And I got some stray strands. And then it's open right here. So here I could just tuck it. Like that. That's what, that's what we're looking like. And then you can do anything with this. You can tie it in a bow. 
I'm not really good at tying bows. <clears throat> but let's see what we come up with. Tie it in a bow. You know, when you tie your bow, you want to open up the sides. Something like that. I don't know, y'all. And position that but I like I said I'm not good at bows but that would be cute I've seen people wear their scars with a big bow on top I don't want my bang to be loose at all I want it to be pressed right there and what I'm going to do is just tie it again and then tie it again okay and then flip this back and then I could mold it and open up some sections that's why i love working with cotton scars because you can really work with it no two ways are ever alike when i do my scarves you can just find little sections to okay hold on that didn't work out make that a little tighter tie it again There is no rhyme or reason to this part right here. You just want it to shape. You just keep working with it until you get a shape that's cute enough for you, that works for you. And, and like that, I would leave it just like that. See, if I had just had this one braid, it would come down and you don't want no part of your forehead showing so that's why I have that second braid right there black panther approved <laughs> so that is it you guys so let's do it again because like I said no two times are ever like my braid is kind of loose looser than I really want it and I really need to regrade it because I got a lot of loose strands hanging down pin that up a little tighter I hope all of you guys are well I've been so busy that I really haven't had a chance to even watch YouTube I'm watching YouTube but for um, t-shirts and stuff because you guys know I have a t-shirt business and it's growing and um, it's keeping me it's keeping me so busy so but I will try to manage my time and get back into things because I do miss making videos and I miss you know communicating with you guys I'm also on Instagram if you guys want to follow me on Instagram I usually just post my t-shirts that I do sometimes we go eat or something but nothing all that exciting you know really what I could do you guys hold on let me show y'all so that gap can be I don't have to tuck that gap I could tie that gap part in with it but the only reason why I don't is because I want to make sure I don't disrupt my. So get that, this part right here. And tuck that in with it and tie it in with it. You see what I'm saying? But when I do that, this gets so disturbed. That's why I have to do that separately. We're going to get it. Hold on. This, this braid is shedding. When I'm not on camera, I could do this just lickety split. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and tie it without worrying about tucking that crown because I don't want to disturb that braid. One of my twists and came to the front, tuck that back. 
and then this could just be lift that and tuck it like that see how I just did that just like that 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 bow tie without even really trying it just turned out really good and I would just mess with tucking those in so that's cute um, put a knot right here and open up okay tie it again And even when you guys do this, because I know a couple of you will do it, just know that no two ways are ever the same. And just play with it for a little bit. It's like this piece right here, I don't have a place to tuck it. There we go. And it's baggy right here. So I gotta fix that. I know y'all like, girl, get with the program. So I'll just bring this to the front. And tie it. Because I don't want it that baggy right there. And sometimes when I do this, I like to have my hair out so I could have untwisted my, my hair and just had it full so that this part can kind of sit up even higher. That would be cute too, you guys. So your hair doesn't have to be twisted or, you know, it could be loose. It could be loose. Okay, I'm about done playing with this scarf, but y'all get the gist. Like that, I got this piece I could bring to the front, tuck it somewhere. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there. I could, and you could, you know, just make sure you don't show your forehead. Make sure that your braid is wide enough. You can drop it down lower if you want you can make it an angle and have it droop you know droop down get creative as you can this is just the gist of it i would love to see you guys's recreation of this i know a couple of you who said they were you were going to do it, and that's why you wanted me to show you how i did it because you were wanting to try it so if you do do this style um, I would love to see your recreation. I would love to see, you know, what pattern scarf you use and how you put it all together. So make sure you tag me on Facebook or Instagram. And I'm Sonetta Crispin on both, okay? Um, yeah, that's it. You don't want to, well, you can go as bold as you want. Like, I wouldn't wear a pair of statement earrings, but like for an event like the Black Panther part of the Black Panther movie, or you know a fashion show or something like that you can you can go as bold as you want i like keeping it simple when i do this like with some cute studs or small dangles a solid i'll pull a color out of this scarf like a black a black shirt solid color this right here is the statement piece and i guarantee you're going to get so many compliments because it's just so pretty no two ways are like play with it and yeah tag me on Instagram. I should have did a contest, some type of giveaway for those of you who recreated and tagged me on Instagram. I still may. So, you might want to um, recreate it. Show me how you did it. And I might do a random surprise giveaway of some sort. I'm trying to get back, but right now, you guys, I can't be consistent enough, so I'm not even going to promise that, but I'll pop in when I can, what am I doing that's occupying all of my time? I am running my t-shirt business. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, that's pretty much all the posts I post on Facebook. I just post pictures of my um, t-shirt designs. You can um, check it out, check them out on Instagram or my website, senatorchrisman.com. 
if there's a t-shirt that you have an idea of like because i do custom designs you can email me and we can chat about it info at sonetachristman.com i can't do all kinds of designs because i'm not a graphic designer but i can create quite a bit of you know different designs so just let me know so that's what's occupy my time once i get i don't want to say once i get settled because my business is growing and i want it to continue to grow so youtube does have to take a back seat right now but i may repurpose my channel i may do that where it's just like t-shirts showing you my different designs how i create my designs how to get started in the t-shirt business I don't know that I'll do that to this channel because I've had this channel for so long and it's always been a beauty channel or a vlog channel or, you know, just my life channel. I may do a separate channel with my t-shirts down the road. I'm not sure. Anyway, let me stop rambling. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, you guys, tag me on Instagram. If you recreate this style, I would love to see how you do it. Yeah, and I'll see you guys next time.